quick update tutorial on the Phantom X6 configuration for your Windows 10 to make sure that it's running via MIDI. Let's get it going. What's up guys, it's your boy Darnell Jordan at S-Town Productions here with another tutorial video for you. This is an update video on about trying to get your old Phantom or Roland series devices, more specifically the Roland Phantom X series keyboards to run on your Windows 10 with older drivers. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you guys want to probably take a look at is you're going to have to go into your advanced settings. So the settings are still going to be the same. So the way you have to get to that is if you go to settings and go down to your recovery, or you can type just advanced setup. Once you hit advanced setup, you're going to click restart now. All right. Once you click restart now, you're going to see options like this when the Windows 10 basically turns off. So first thing you're going to see is uh, continue troubleshoot and turn off your PC. You're going to select troubleshoot. This will lead you to this section where you will find advanced options is what you want to look for. Go over to startup settings. Next, you're going to go and find this window that will show up. It will say restart chains, windows options such as low resolution video mode, debugging mode, uh, boot logging, so on and so forth. The one you're going to be looking for is driver signature enforcement. All right. As soon as you click restart, it's going to give you that option. You're going to go all the way down to seven and you're going to press number seven on your keyboard. All right. So once you hit seven on the keyboard, you're going to be in driver signature enforcement mode. This is very essential to the process in order for this to work. You cannot get these drivers to load unless you do this part. All right. Now, these are the same steps that I showed in the last video, but here's where it gets a little bit different. In the link below, I'm going to show you a previous video from somebody who made a Roland driver patcher. Once you will get that link from that, go and if I go to that link, that link in the description, you'll find a link to um, the EXE basically that allows for it. it's going to be a zip file. Once you get to that, go ahead and download it onto your PC. Once you get to your PC, you're going to look for Roland driver patcher. Best thing to do once you get that is extract it. So you're going to have to extract it. Here's my folder for it. That way it was in a separate folder. And to make it easier for yourself is uh, go over to Roland, find your recent driver. So for my for example, for me, I have Roland Phantom X6. This X6 um, latest driver is in Windows 8. So I'm going to look for um, the Windows 8 driver that will be on um, the website. Those drivers are still available. You'll still be able to find them. All right. So I'm going to put that in the same folder. It's easier for you to do that. It's better with organization that way. As soon as you get into that, you're going to click on Roland Patcher. Um, and they tell you to extract this archive before using the tool, which I did. So make sure you extract it before using it. Then I'm going to go ahead and click driver patcher. It will ask you if you want to basically just ask for permissions. You're going to click yes. And then this is going to come up. All right. Rolling Windows 10 driver patcher. All right. Next thing you're going to do is select driver zip. It's going to tell you that you need to do this restart in the special mode. If you've done that previously, you don't have to worry about that. You go ahead and select no. Now what it's going to do is look for that file that you was trying to search for before, right? So in my case, I'm going to look for the zip file. It's easier to find the zip file. Once I do that, I can click open. It'll say all extracted files would be stored at the location where you originally had it. You're going to click OK. Success. Now you can drive, install the driver like you normally would. Press OK. Select and then go into setup. Once you go into setup, you're going to do exactly what the regular instructions say. There's going to be a prompt in there that's going to say something similar to this driver is unnoticeable or something that is it's unknown. So we, we're not sure if we want to download it. Go ahead and just put it in the driver anyway. Do the prompts. Make sure that USB is unplugged so it can do the drivers first. And then it's going to ask you to plug in the USB drivers. Remember, this is a central part. 
be sure to have your device plugged into a USB 2.0 or 2.0 compatible port. If it's in a spot where it's only 3.0 and above, it's not going to work. So make sure that's backwards compatible or best safe bet, put it in a USB 2.0 port only. All right. That's the easiest way you're going to be able to go in and try to make sure that this works correctly. Once that's all set up, you should be all good to go. I'll use Studio One. That's how I do most of my production. This is how you get your MIDI on. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go into external devices. Here's external devices. What you'll see is I've made a Phantom X6 in and a Phantom X6 out. I'll double click it. I'll do receive from Phantom X for in and send to Phantom X for out. And as you can see, if I go into, let's go into a track that has drums on it. So here's a kick. So there's my kick and I still have that on any spot. All right, so I still have all my triggers set up. You can do this the same way with Ableton, Pro Tools, Fruity Loops, or whatever DAW that you're using. This should work for every DAW that you have. You'll still have those luxuries. If you want to get more in depth on how to do the step-by-step -step direction in my last video, talking about configurations, check those out and you'll be able to kind of go through the whole landscape of how I did everything and doing MIDI in and out for Studio One in Ableton, and I believe FL Studio would did as well. With all that being said and done, let me know how that works. Leave comments on the bottom of this video. Any questions, leave in the comments. Thumbs up, subscribe, hit the post notifications button so you guys know when every time I go in and try to go through some tutorials or beat making or anything like that. Uh, until then, it's your boy Donald Jordan, S Town Productions. Peace out.